let's look at how autofill works. So uh, when you have a selection, whether it's a single cell or multiple cells, the bottom right corner, which is sometimes a dot or a small square, is called the autofill button. And let's suppose we have a number like one and two. So if you want to fill a pattern like that, like you want three to be next, you have to select a set of numbers that forms a pattern. So these numbers are one apart. And so then I can fill that pattern down. So again, to make that happen, you first need to create a pattern like one, two. You have to have at least two numbers. You could have three, but they have to be uh, a pattern where they're the same distance apart. Then you highlight the pattern, let go of it, then you point to the bottom right corner, and then you click and fill down. We could do that for even numbers, for example. So I could go two and then four, and I want six to be next. So that's my pattern. So first select the pattern. After the pattern is selected, select the autofill button, click and drag, and it'll continue the pattern. Now, it only works for things that are the same space apart, one apart, two apart, 10 apart, whatever. They're not the same distance, like suppose we want doubles, doesn't work. At least it doesn't give you what you want. Like suppose we wanted something like two, four, eight, and then 16, right? So these aren't the same distance apart. So if I try to select the pattern and ask the computer to fill it, I want 32 to be next and then 64, but it doesn't understand that by default and it's gonna do something else. So in this case, I'm gonna delete that, I need a formula. So a formula in this case has to start with an equals because I want a calculation. And I just want to take the number above and I want to multiply it by two. When you're filling a formula like this, you only need one example to fill. So I select just the formula. You can see I have equals C3 times two and I fill only that cell down. So again, if you have a pattern of numbers that are equally spaced, you need a sample of two or more to use the autofill button. If you have a single formula, you only need one example of that formula. Okay, now what if I wanna fill all of these together? Well, since this requires the formula one and these require two, it turns out I can select a group of two of each of them and it will behave well for the fill there. So I'll get my 13, 14, 15, get my 26, 28, 30, and then I'm gonna get my doubles, right? Double 2,000 is 4,000, double 4,000 is 8,000 and so on. Autofill.